Welcome, good people of the internet. This is the Present Barber Podcast. I'm your host, Nelson Carmona. And on this podcast, we discuss stories of the hair industry and the unique people in it. On today's episode, our guest is Drew Nice. I've been really excited to interview Drew for a long time since I've been following him on social media. And he has a unique hustle and energy that I don't see in anybody else. He has that mom mentality of wanting to be the best and having others around him be the best. So I hope that reflects on this episode and I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Welcome everybody to the Present Barber Podcast. I'm Nelson Carmona, your host. And today we have a very special guest, Drew Nice, the barber. Welcome, yes, Drew. sir. Yes, sir. What's up? Did I, is the mic okay when I move it like that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All you, right, perfect, man. What's up, everybody, man? It's 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 your boy Drew Nice, the barber. I'm here, and uh, you know I'm going to be answering a question my man Nelson has for me, and you know I'm very excited, you know, to be able to give back to you guys, you know, uh, in the sense of this podcast. This is this is something that I actually wanted to go ahead and start doing. That way, I could be more vocal on my Instagram to let people know, you know, the inside of you know what it you know, ultimately takes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, just the, the drive, you know, the passion, uh, uh, the willpower, the determination, you know, just everything that you need to have aligned in your life in order to, you know, really focus on being your best version, which is my motto, what I live by. I live I live by, you know, reaching, you know, your your full potential, man. Mamba mentality, the whole rider, just don't do it at all, you know what I'm saying? So everybody's been born with a gift. It's our job to, you know, Take it to the highest level possible, man. And it's an everyday, you know, strive to just be better all around, man. All Absolutely. around, bro. So, so that's, that's what I'm about. Yeah. So, like, that's, uh, I guess that's why, um, you know, it's a great opportunity to be able to interview you and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, I think um, one of the reasons why I wanted to reach out to you is because I see that so much in, in your social media life and even just, you know, even before the interview, just hanging out and all that stuff you know, you're that person of that intensity and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. I want to bring back basically um, where that started did uh, as far as the barber industry goes. But even before that, um, this, this mentality that you've built upon yourself, um, did it start before barbering? Were you always this way about everything? And then now you're just hyper-focused on the barbering aspect? Or, um, you know, where, where did that start? Oh, uh, as far as barbering or just, you know, just the way I think in the barbering industry, which, yeah. which one exactly? Is yeah. It? So did you, did the mentality come before the barbering industry um, or did it come through the process of the barbering industry? Well, I would say a little bit because one thing for us to be better is always to have a competitive mindset. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I, uh, directly correlate that to, you know, Kobe Bryant and all the ultimate competitors out there. If you want to be pushed to your ultimate greatness, you have to, uh, continuously compete. So I played a lot of basketball when I was young. Okay. Um, you know, video games, you know, with your friends and stuff like yeah, that. You absolutely. always want to be the best. You don't yeah. want to lose. You want to be yeah. the best. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. You want to have that respect and you want to, you know, and I always just wanted that, you know what I'm saying? So I, I believe that's where it stemmed from originally. Gotcha. So. Yeah. So as far as the barbering stuff, where where did your journey start? How old were you when you first picked up the clippers and started just cutting yourself or mm -hmm. other people and stuff like that? Oh, man. Um, I was getting my haircut from my cousin. Connect Cuts. Shout out, man. Shout out. I see you with the new shop, man. You killing it, bro. Uh, you always been an inspiration to me. My cousin used to cut my hair, and I, that's when I really started focusing on, on my image when he started cutting me up. It was like a little a two on the side with a maybe a half, you know, okay. with, with a sharp lineup. That's it. Um, and I think that inspired me when I was younger, and I really, you know, saw the perspective of what it could do for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As far as your confidence, the way you feel, the way you look. Um, I, I liked the sharp lines. I liked all of that. Um, and that really... You know, was the beginning as far as, you know, me visiting barbershops. Mm -hmm. I always seen barbers had the respect. It was a cool environment. Yeah. Um, I, I liked it that you were able to build your own schedule and do things in, in that sense. And they always had the coolest rides, man. You know, <laughs> yeah. I, bro, the, every time I pulled up to the shop, bro, so they pulled up yeah. in, the, in the whip. I was like, yeah. I, need, I need that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need that, yeah. bro. You know, so I wanted... I, I like nice things, so that, yeah. that that inspired me as well. You know, being able to have control of your your financial, uh, you know, input or, or you know your 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 turnaround. You know, yeah. depending on your hustle and what you want. So yeah, yeah. That, so that was big. That was big for sure. So what um what was the the first step as far as getting into that? Did you approach your cousin to be like, "Yo, bro, can you teach me never. how to cut hair?" Never, never, never. He, I was just young, man. I didn't know. I just knew that I liked it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So. I, 
nah, I never spoke to him about it. Not even about nothing. He he has no idea. You know what I'm saying? He probably he's gonna really see this and be like, yo, that that's dope. You know, shout out to Josh again. Um, and just you know my influence as far as you know me cutting my my dad's hair in the porch and, mm -hmm. and it just started you know stemming from that. Um, um, if I wanted to go deeper into how it progressed, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It just I started, you know, cutting. You know my friend's hair. You okay. know at my at my house with a little con air machine, bro. It's a little <laughs> Classic, trimmer, bro. Yeah. I used to put little clips on it and just do my own lineup. I have pictures. I had braids, bro. It was so embarrassing when I was <laughs> early two thousands, bro. bro I, I don't know do rag, yeah. bro. The whole nine, bro. It's embarrassing, bro. Look like an R and B singer the whole night. Um, but uh, I was doing shape ups. My my boy Johnny, my all my boys from Chestnut Hill back in the day, man. Old neighborhood I used to live in. Um, I used, I was just cutting everybody up from there with those little things, and then it it, it, it progressed to you know wall, wall clippers and this master. Um, Bones go shout out to Bones. He was a big inspiration for me. I'm sure you guys know who Bones is. Um, he really helped me take it to the next level I, I as far as getting out of my comfort zone. Mm. Um, but even before that, man, I was selling haircuts in my garage, bro. Five dollars, bro. Mm. You know, and I would let them go free. Every time I would nick somebody mm -hmm. with a razor or something, yeah. free haircut. All, they was loving it because everybody's getting, they was getting cut and they was okay with it. Yeah. Because they wasn't paying. Yeah. You know, so I, I put a lot of pressure on myself at that time to just just keep getting better because I don't want to do free haircuts, bro. How much you, did you start at when you started cutting? Uh, so I think it was $13. 13 And um, 15 if it was like a fade or it had scissors or whatever. I, didn't, um, I wasn't using no shears, no scissors yeah, in yeah. my garage yeah. at all. And I'm Straight. talking about like in a shop or whatever. Okay, like before shop. that, it was kind of just freebies two at years. the crib. Bro, yeah, because yeah, two years grinding out the garage, bro. Oh, grinding, two years. Two years grinding. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't really, and then when I get got into the barber shop, I didn't know what I was a horrible dude because these boys <laughs> is shaving. I, I yeah, I had no game. I wanted to quit. So uh, you know, Bones gave me an opportunity to work at one shop, and mm. then you know what? I got fired. I got fired from a barber shop. My first barber shop I worked at. Yeah, I definitely got fired for inexperience. Mm. I think that was a pivotal time as well because it made me want to quit. It was very very difficult for me. Um, and then I went to another barbershop, and there was just no clientele for me. Mm. So as far as growth, you know, some people would start to get discouraged. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? But I knew that this was a passion. It's something I wanted to do. So I just, you know, I kept at it, even if it was in my garage at home. Um, now, that discomfort that you were talking about before that, that Bones uh, ignited mm -hmm. to Absolutely. you to le lean into that, what would you say your comfort zone was? And what was that uncomfortableness that you had to get into to, to oh, get out of man. that? Just get the job done, bro. Finish, bro. Keep your head up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Very, 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 very big. I remember an incident where I was doing a skin fade and dude came in for a scissor cut on the top. Mm -hmm. Never forget it. Um, and he was a barbershop client, so he sat with all the barbers. And yeah, they were yeah. all nicer to me, 12 yeah. of them nicer to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I, I took three hours on the haircut. Ultimately, bro, I was fumbling around. You know when you start fumbling yeah, around yeah, your yeah, tools? You, you spray your stuff 10 times. For what? Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because you're nervous, bro. <laughs> yeah. So I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm yeah. doing all this. And, it, bro, I'm prolonging the whole thing. And, oh, I just want to get them out the chair and move on. Yeah. And I'm just fumbling, fumbling, fumbling. Every Hair sticking out all over the uh. place, man. <laughs> bro, anxiety, bro. Sweating, yeah, man. Sweating. It's a big deal, man. Y'all don't understand. It's a big deal. When you're dealing with a human being and you feel this way, you know, it's tough. It's tough. You know, it makes you want to quit. I wanted to quit. Um, <laughs> And I told Bones, man, I don't know if I could do it no more. And he said, bro, like, shut up. You ready to do another one? Let's go. Let's do another one. Yeah. And he told another walk and come on, Drew got you. And I'm over there sitting in my chair, bro. Like, I don't want to do it. You know, yeah. that, that was probably one of the first, like, getting through a difficult mountain. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And understanding that it's just, it's continuous, man. You got to keep doing it, bro. Yeah. You know, keep, keep putting yourself in that heat, even when you master something, man. Keep putting yourself in that heat, bro. Yeah. So that was big. That was big. Absolutely. Yeah. I recognize, too, that you, um, not that you're necessarily reinventing yourself, but you're adding more, um, more to the arsenal at yeah. all times gotcha. and stuff like that. So now hearing mm. that i have a more understanding of where where that's coming from mm, and all mm, that mm, where yeah. where um where did it go from there so you're you're doing the you know the sweating it out the three uh the the three hour cut right mm -hmm. where did it get to a point where you're like all right now i'm confident if if somebody needs cheers and stuff like that come through and all that stuff was it a long process what did you do to get out of that where you're just taking heads and just finishing it perfect or no. did you take a class or anything yeah or? taking as much classes watching bro i i came up at heavy hitters barbershop this is an elite barbershop bro in my area at the time mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so there was 12 hitters in there zeke the barber low veil bones the goat 
uh, uh, Hernan, heavy hitters, boss man. This time it was you know shot at everybody that's in that Kino, um, everybody that was a part of that shop. You know, Dave. Um, it, it was big, man. So I had to learn around a bunch of monsters, bro. Yeah. So, bro, I came up in the shop, bro, with everybody was just monsters, bro. Yeah. So, you know, I'm very, very big on environment, dude. Like, you become who you surround yourself or you, you know, who you want to be. Ultimately, bro, like, you have to understand. And I put myself in an environment where I was so uncomfortable. Mm. And these guys were so much better than me that I was the weakest link, bro. Yeah. I made the shop, you know, you're only as strong as your weakest person, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I really had to step my game up tenfold, bro, if I wanted to stay at this barbershop with these guys. Mm. So what am I going to look like, bro? I'm, I'm the worst one here, bro, and I know my potential, bro. I can be the best, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just give me some time. I stuck with it, bro. Yeah. I stuck with it. I stuck with it. And then, you know, um, just building confidence through failure. Building mm. confidence through uh, uh, so much failure, bro. Mm. Failure, 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 failure. Understanding that, you know, you extract, you know, uh, the things that work, you know, through the failure. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Know how to, you know, see, uh, see perspective, you know, see, um, you know, what's, you know, your flaws, bro. Working on them every single day, bro. Every single day, bro. Show up, bro. That's it. Yeah. Show up, show up, show up. And it, you got to get to a point where it just gets aggressive to you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, you, you want it so bad. You know, you you gotta want it so bad. I consume a lot of content that that you know rewires my mind on how a lot of people you know of success think. You know, mm. no matter what industry you're in. So I just live by those principles, dude. I live by those principles and, and apply what I learn, bro. Like you, we're all capable of learning. That's the crazy thing, bro. Everybody's capable of learning. It's about the people that learn and then apply and then yeah. continuously learn and then apply. Yeah, learn and apply until it's it's a compound. It's a compound, but you gotta, you gotta be relentless, man. You gotta be relentless yeah. in, your, in pursuit. If if it's your dream and your passion, relentlessness, bro. Yeah, relentlessness, bro. Like hunger, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to always be that lion, bro. Which your, your bones is showing, bro. Cause who are you, my dude? Mm. You feel me? Like who are you? Just another dude with no respect in the barbershop, bro. You know, mm. you come in, oh nah, I don't want to sit with him. So uh, that's you. Yeah, that's gonna be you. Yeah. Uh, Straight to the, mm. Yeah. No so sure. I think that's an interesting metaphor to, to do um, at, at, as we, uh, at the time of this interview and stuff like that, um, I think of your, your, even your Instagram uh, icon and all that stuff as that lion, that, that hunger and stuff like that. And um, I think it was a moment where I saw it on your story and all that stuff. You're just sitting in your car or whatever, and you were just staring at the camera and you're like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. You know, you kind of kept repeating that phrase and all that stuff like and like me looking at you and all that stuff you have uh uh a decent following on, on social media you just open up your shop and all that stuff but you're still hungry so i want to ask what what's hunger to you what is what is uh where does that stem from is it just that that being of just wanting to be that person or you know where where's that come from <clears throat> that stems very 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 deep um we as people go through things, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody has a perfect life, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So you have to constantly be in a mindset of just being so good at every aspect in your life, you know, personal, business, um, your art, your gift, um, that, you know, it needs to be passed on ultimately, you know what I'm saying? So I was blessed with, uh, uh, you know, my son, Armani, mm -hmm. and he's three now. Shout out to Armani. Yeah. I go hard for that boy. Yeah. So I go hard for him, bro. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah, so it's um I think that's beautiful too. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um having something outside of yourself to go in for. Um, you know, he's you say he's three years old, so um I could imagine that moment, you know, when he's born and all that stuff, that must mm -hmm. have been not an awakening, because you're already woken up, but it, it filled uh, another level to Absolutely. that. Absolutely. It's, 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 it's legacy. It's more being a blueprint for the next generation, which is my son. Like, my life is about me being the best that I ultimately can be an example to show him, you know, how to get, you know, what your dreams are, how to chase your dreams and, and be accomplished and, and be, you know, respected, you know, in, in every aspect. So... You know, that's, that's, that's hunger, man. Hunger, 
I gotta dig deep, bro. I gotta dig deep. There's so much, bro, that's just beyond, bro. That's just beyond that just fuels and ignites my hunger, bro. Where it's like, there's times in the car where I just get explosive, dude. I get explosive. It's, it's a feeling of passion and a burning desire, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just to, bro, I wanna be like MJ out here, bro. Mm -hmm. I wanna be like Kobe in the barber game, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, you understand? Like, I really wanna be respected on that level. Like, I'm just that hungry because I feel like that's my potential. That's my gift. And, and, and to help people reach, you know, the ultimate potential, whether it's dealing with other people, human relations, or, you know, developing a, you know, business, a barbershop, you know, just being ethical in that manner. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm just, it, it's, it's deep, bro. It's so deep, dude. The hunger, bro. The, my past relationships, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, uh, things in life that you get hit with, bro, you know, that, that everybody deals with, you know, but mm -hmm. how do you cope? You know, with, with life. Mm -hmm. How do you cope with life? And the way that I cope with life, ultimately, bro, is inside my shop, dude. I yeah. escape, dude. Yeah. It's a full escape. Yeah. When I when I step foot in the industry or I'm in my shop, I'm cutting hair, bro. I'm I'm me, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm flying. Yeah. You know, so. Now, um, I think that that's an interesting thing to, you know, have that space, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's your car or your, your alone time to think and all that stuff. Is it... Do you feel like that's like an exercise for you to kind of remind yourself of like what you're doing this absolutely, for ultimately? Absolutely, it's it's uh, you said uh, well, exercise. Yeah, absolutely, man. It's 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 a manifesto. It's mm -hmm. a manifesto. Um, it's it's you know meditation. It's um, uh, manifestation, dude. Ultimately, bro, I'm in the mirror and I'm talking to myself, bro. People, my people, people are going to think I'm crazy. They pull up, you know, to the car by me and they see me, you know, uh, just going crazy in my car, yeah. dude, because I look at myself in the mirror often. I'm in my room, don't matter what it is. And I talk to Drew. I talk to, to Drew five years from now. Mm. It's always, you always have to vision yourself five years from now. Mm. And I coach myself in that manner. So I look directly and I would step outside my body and talk to myself. Mm. Bro, you being soft right now, like just like on the way I was here, like I'm going through some personal things, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Just like everybody, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking to him, I'm like, Drew, bro, you being soft, bro. Yeah. Like you be, I'm looking at myself and I'm, I'm being hard, bro. Like man up, dude. You got, you know, come on, man. You, you know who you are, man. Let's go. Yeah. You know, but I, it's, it's more intense, bro. It's so much more intense when it's personal, bro. Mm. Like, you know, ultimately, man, you're in competition with yourself. Yeah. But bottom line, you know what I'm saying? So. You know, I'm just, uh, I'm very, uh, very, very, very tough coach on myself, bro. Very, very. And it's manifestation, bro. Manifestation, ultimately. So, I, 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 I'm, I'm a big believer in that, for sure. That's awesome, man. Whew. It gets intense, dude. Yeah. It gets intense, <laughs> I see bro. It. I see bro, the fire. Bro, you don't understand, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm trying to find words to put it in, mm. you know, for the people that, that are watching. I'm trying to find words, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But it's, 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 yeah. it's deeper, bro. Yeah. You know, deeper than words is how intense that it could be, you know, that fire. Yeah. Well, I think it's, it's, um, it, when you don't know how to describe something to somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you show it, you know? <laughs> exactly. And exactly. I, I think, like, even just the example of this beautiful shop you have, which, um, I'm going to get some shots or whatever and, and showcase it during the video. That's awesome. But, um, yeah, man, like, you could tell, as soon as I walked in here, even just outside, you know what I'm saying? There is, there's attention to detail of, Look, this is where you could find this. This is how you book an appointment. This is our social media and stuff like that. And even like shops that have been around forever or whatever, don't even take the time to do that stuff, you know? Um, and just being, uh, <laughs> when I use your restroom coming off the highway or whatever, <laughs> there's um, these three things, three definitions in the, the, um, in the bathroom or whatever. And I, I wanted to bring it up. So it was uh, grind, execution, and hustle. Now, when I looked at the Ooh. the grind, come on, <laughs> come on baby, well, yeah, when come I, on, boy, <laughs> hey, don't play with me, boy. Yeah. We gonna run, yeah. <laughs> let's go, baby, all day. Come on, yeah. man, let's so, go. On the grind aspect, you know, um, under that definition, it kind of even just reading that and just kind of changed my perspective, even an instant of that repetitiveness to that goal and stuff like that. Mm. So, what is that combination? Do you feel like that's the formula that you're using in yourself? to execute absolutely bro grind bro the grind bro grinding, grinding. <laughs> bro all day man it's the game bro yeah it's the game being on a being a hustler hustling harder than everybody else around you bro mm -hmm. you gotta hustle harder than everybody you understand you gotta hustle so yeah bro that's big bro that's tatted in my body internal my brain 
not tatted on my body. I ain't got no tats. As you guys can see, maybe my hair shot there, but yeah. Um, <laughs> dude, yeah. Execution, man. I figured out, man, that execution was very, very important. The action that goes behind what mm-hmm. you do. You have to put action to your idea. You know, and, and people, a lot of people are lazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And bro, I opened up this barbershop, bro. Nobody knew, dude. Yeah. Nobody knew. I came out, I came out of nowhere, bro. I said, bro, this I'm opening a shop, here's my key. I left, I left my other job. And and you know, I opened up my shop, man. Because yeah. what I did was behind closed doors, I had a checklist, bro. I did this, 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 this will stop being all oh, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Mm. You know, you can't have that, you have to do have develop a do it now mentality. You know, that way you can move, you can advance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I developed a do it now mentality. Yeah. You know, got rid of procrastination. And bro, I blinked my eyes. Look yeah. where we are right now, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, this is, come on, man. What, what you can do when you sit here and focus, bro, mm-hmm. and, and, and you just knock what you need to do off the list. Yeah. Bro, you can take over the world, man. I'm just, you know, developing that mindset. And, and imagine another five years, bro, with, with following action and not being lazy, mm. you know? Like, yeah. everybody's capable, bro. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. No excuse, bro. Yeah. Well, recently, like, I've seen, like, on your, your, uh, your IG or whatever that I know you're taking a break and all that stuff. Uh, from it but you're still posting hey still grinding you know what i'm saying and i think uh Mm -hmm. in the industry right now there's a twist of like showing that you're grinding but you know that person and you're they're like they're not grinding like that or whatever it's a false grind and all that stuff and you've manifested little things physically Mm -hmm. um do you think that that do it um thing got you here quicker than you know, the Absol- whole maybe one day type of thing? Absolutely, bro. I knew what I was capable of, man. And this is something that should have been done a long time ago. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I just kept building myself, building myself in every other aspect before I, I had my, I owned my own space. Mm. So it's not like I just sat and just wished, bro. Yeah. You know? I put action behind getting certified at SMP, creating, you know, um, the gold plating business, mm-hmm. um, doing, you know, 24 karat gold blades, mm-hmm. modify machines. Yeah. Um, I, I started to learn how to double my, double my money in different aspects. Mm. So that's for me just consuming other entrepreneurs that are really doing it, you know, yeah. via reading books, via, you know, um, the podcast, via, um, you know, the internet, you, YouTube, mm-hmm. You know, shout out to Pat Pet David. He's been a big inspiration. You know, I manifested a dream to see this man that I've been following for five years, and he ended up coming to my shop to get a haircut from me. I had yeah. a dream. I, I've been studying for five years, bought his book. You know, before, I, I consumed it in a week, his whole book. You mm. know, and, and I bet it in my brain. And, bro, dude shows up to my shop. I cut him up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I, it, it's ridiculous, man. Yeah, do yeah. it now mentality. Absolutely, bro. Yeah. Absolutely. And Pat's definitely, if people don't know who mm-hmm. Pat is, we'll leave a link in, in the description stuff. Yeah, but for sure. his stuff is intense. You know? It is. It he, is. T- he talks to some of the biggest intellectuals in the world. You know, mm. guys that are, you know, really actually moving stuff mm-hmm. in the world and just, you know, dissects them and stuff like that. But um, I kind of see, like... Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Is there any way I can time out, guys? Can I get a water bottle? Dude? Yeah, you got me rolling, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro, I don't uh, want to be bro, the we'll white, be, the white we'll, around your lips. Yeah. So, no, sir. Hey, let me, let me hold on. <laughs> we'll be back after this commercial break. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Yeah. 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 I'll take. You don't even have to cut it, bro. No. Nah. <laughs> It raw, keep rugged. Keep it raw. Keep it yeah. raw. Keep it raw. My, it's funny because the last podcast we had a, a bit of an inter- interruption. I'm like, oh, I'll edit that out. Didn't edit it out. No, we just no, keep no. going. Let's go. Keep it moving. We keep it moving. <laughs> um, so another thing I wanted to um, talk about, I think um, what's interesting too of like the clipper modification. Like I feel like there's a whole community out there, and I think you in particular are um, in it, and I like your aspect and I'll, I'll say this with cautious words or whatever what mm-hmm. you're doing or whatever i'm seeing big time manufacturers do it oh, big you, clipper you companies that. You, you yeah seen that, right? i see mm-hmm. <laughs> so i mm-hmm. seen that um you know picking up on the formulas of quote unquote smaller guys you know you you're just independent it's yep. you doing yep. your, your yep. thing yep. um so i want to kind of trace where where that journey mm. started because that 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 i seem is like a branch from the the barber tree so mm-hmm. what got you into modification and even the gold plating stuff? Wow, you know? dude. Uh, modifications, man. I, I, 
I just wanted my Clippers to hit, bro. Ultimately, bro, I wanted some hitters because when you got some hitters, you you got the sharpest lines. Yeah. You know, the closest shave. You hit that crunch, you frying chicken, man. You yeah. know, it, bro, come on, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, fried chicken. I, I, that's tell, good. I tell my boy, yo, Lonnie, you hear that? Yeah. The thing is frying chicken now. I'm telling you, it, so from the back of the shop, yeah, we're yeah, frying yeah, chicken. Yeah. Sharpies all day. Um, <laughs> but, man, I just, oh, excuse me. Um, well, I bought some modified trimmers from my man, Miami Barber. Barber. Shout out my man, uh, Mo, in Miami. I don't mm-hmm. know if you're familiar with him. He battles a lot. He's a monster. Um, he sold me a pair of his GTXs that he modified. Mm. And I did a video on um, Instagram using them. Yeah. And that video did 4.5 million v- views. Wow. So I went up probably like, I don't know, maybe like 40K in following yeah. just off of that video alone. And me, you know, using the trimmer. I shouted him out, bro. His following went crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I got to make some money doing this. I got to make some money. Seeing the potential, you know, where Instagram, it's a little tougher to tap into the algorithm now. Yeah. But I, you know how much money I could have made? Yeah. You know? Now, where, where are we speaking as far as timeline goes? Like, how, how long ago was this that you... you uh Did the modification. Yeah. Three, that, I want to say three years, bro. Three years wow, ago. Wow, that's okay. incredible, bro. About three years, dude. About three years, man. Yeah. I don't do them as much anymore now that I'm working on this 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 barbershop. You know, yeah. I'm trying to get this this going. But it was, you know, it got me by, man. It was straight passion, bro. I yeah. was having fun. I wasn't. I was just having fun. Yeah. Um. And then I started modifying them. Um. And then it just grew from ten boxes, mm. you know, to fifty boxes. Yeah. And then ran up off a hundred plus. Yeah. Doing release dates. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I started to see the upside, bro. What you could do when you build a brand. Mm. You know, not just a product. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? So it was the brand and the product that people were really feeling. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it, it just, it did well for me, dude. Like, glory yeah. to God, you know, it took care of this barbershop, yeah. you know, in a sense. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. you know, just just that time three years ago, me building Sharpies, mm-hmm. I was able to furnish my barbershop, yeah. you know, off just that grind, yeah. you know? So that's pretty dope. Um, and then it just grew mm. because I loved it, bro, and I put into it. It grew. Yeah. Started, you know, had an idea, manifested, you know, gold plating. Yeah. The way that I am, like, my, my clippers, bro, they're like a tool. You play Call of Duty? Uh, here and there. I suck you at first purchase shooters, but oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, Call of Duty, uh, I believe, is Modern Warfare, where you can prestige on your, with your gun. Mm-hmm. And you, I, I had an all-gold M4. Okay. And I was getting nukes with this gun, <laughs> yeah. bro, everything. I didn't want to re-prestige because yeah. it's not going to turn. I, I got to get work yeah. back up to get it gold again. Yeah. So I said, man, this is my video game. Mm-hmm. Barbering is my video game. Business is my video game. This is a game in mm-hmm. a sense for me yeah. that I truly enjoy. Mm. So I said, man, I got to get this. I got to take this Sharpie to all gold, bro. Yeah. Since I reached this level, it needs to be gold. Yeah. So that's when I taught myself how to do gold plating mm. and re- uh, understanding, you know, um, you know oxi- oxidiz- oxidization. Mm-hmm. Cut that. Cut that. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, uh, anyway, I, I, I learned how to gold plate, you know, and mm-hmm. it was pretty cool. Yeah. And it was authentic 24 karat gold. Yeah. And, you know, I just made my tools gold, dude. I Yeah. I think it's crazy, too, just because, like, I've seen videos of it. Like, it just looks like a mad scientist thing or it, whatever. It, it is. And I'm yeah. over here trying to say a big word, and I just stumbled over it. Yeah. But excuse me. I yeah. feel like an idiot. No. Um, but, yeah, bro, like, I just made my all my blades gold, bro. And then I, I, I started with a, a little kit. Mm. And then it grew to a bigger kit. Yeah. And then I had gallons, bro. Yeah. I had gallons of 24 karat, you know, uh, and just Woods Nickel Strike, you know, solutions. You know, very dangerous chemicals, man. Yeah. Very dangerous. Yeah. Very dangerous. I think it's um, just interesting, just the, um, the journey into that and, like, just that interaction between one barber to another and all that stuff to, mm-hmm. to do that. You know, I think... Um, in our community, like even just you giving me this interview or whatever, mm-hmm. I think it's it, it speaks volumes of like the community that we have to be able to share knowledge and all that stuff, and that's what I'm hoping to do mm-hmm. with this platform. But um, so from that that aspect of um of sharing and all that stuff, you've seen that growth in your your social media and all mm-hmm. that stuff. Yeah, bro. So where um you're using it as a tool, correct? What's that? The social media. Oh, absolutely. 100%, dude. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. So, Nothing so, else. Yeah. So as far as tools go and all that stuff, what, what would, in your toolbox, what do you see, I guess, the most precious tool 
in your toolbox? Mm. Mm. My communication skills. Mm. Okay. Beyond everything else. Yeah. Why, why would you say that as far as your communication skills and all that stuff? Because, man, once you open your mouth, you mm. tell the people who you are. Mm. We're being judged any, any second. When you open up your mouth, you express your soul, who you are. Yeah. So I believe it's, it's very big um, with your, you know, communication skills. That way you can, you know, connect, you mm. know, with people to get to a desired point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's mixed with personality. That's mixed with, you know, just, you know, being a good person ultimately. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Trying to help somebody, you know? Yeah. So that is it, very big, man. Communication is the key. It's the key. Yeah. It's the key. Big key. Big one. Big now, one, big one. as far as the, the journey to your barbershop, I know we kind of skipped around as far as your, your barbering journey. So mm -hmm. um, I kind of want to bring it back to, um, the heavy hitters barbershop. Um, that's where you were grinding mm -hmm. it out, iron sharpened iron. Yes, sir, baby. So from heavy that hitters, heavy hitters. <laughs> so from that that place to opening up a shop now, what was that that journey like? Was that more of like, all right, I'm gonna just try to elevate all my barbering skills and clientele and like what where where was your journey as far as retrospectively looking at that? Man. I just went through so many different phases as a barber, bro. It's ridiculous, bro. Yeah. I went through so many different ups, so many different downs, so many e experimental, mm. um, you know, just trying to master the game ultimately. Um, so as far as like a reinvention, I guess. Reinvention. Okay. Go yeah. Ahead. Go like ahead. a reinvention of yourself, you know, because I feel like. Oh, yeah. Bro, consuming content, man. Consuming content and changing your environment as much as you can. That way you don't feel like you're the best, bro. That way you don't mm. feel like. That way you don't feel like, oh, I got it here. I'm, I can be uh, okay. comfortable. Yeah. You know, like you always have to move. You have mm -hmm. to move into uncomfortable situations. That way you can, you can grow. Yeah. So once you start feeling like you're the best in a barbershop or, or just your, with your friends, your, your circle, like it's time to move into somewhere where you feel like there's more growth. You know, because mm -hmm. you extract every, you extract all the fruits from everything. You know what I'm saying? So you got to move on to, you know, just things that will help you level up. You know, yeah. um, understanding, you know, progression in the process, mm. understanding. Now, um, as far as what, why, why open up a shop, I guess, at this point, um, mm. what was, what, I guess, what's your vision in opening up a shop? You know, with, with the day that, day in the, <laughs> the, the 2020 that we all went through as barbers and all that stuff, barbering shop shutting down and all that stuff. And you leaned into it. You're <laughs> like, you know what? This is the perfect time. To open up a barbershop. You know what I'm saying? Drew, what you gonna do, Drew? Yeah. Drew, what you gonna do, bro? You doing this? You doing that? The, yeah. Bar having a barbershop has always been your dream. Mm. You know, you was always into being a point guard. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You want to be a leader. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what, what you gonna do? That's what I'm asking. What you gonna do now? Yeah. You, you're struggling. You're starting to freak out because there's a, you can't grow. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You, you're starting to really freak out and stress, bro. So, I'm like, what you gonna do? Like, do it on the highest level you can. Mm. Be as scared as you can. Yeah. Open up a shop in a freaking area where it's going to be tough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, compete with yourself. Bet on you. Mm. So I was just talking to myself. I said, dude, my current situation, you know, I'm doing, you know, these uh, X numbers. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I, I'm doing this. I'm capable. You know, I have a freaking solid clientele. Mm -hmm. You know, I know my numbers. I understand business a little bit uh, more deeper. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted another challenge, man. I need a challenge, bro. I need something that's going to consistently challenge me to... to Play the game. Play, yeah. the, play the game and win the game. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, Did you feel like you were at a plateau being oh. under somebody else's shop and vision? And yeah. And you, yeah, you yeah. wanted to mm -hmm. just push that? Uh, plateau? Uh, not really. I mean, for, for small periods of time. Because when I start to feel like I plateau, that's when I start to navigate. Mm -hmm. Where can I go to, to not be the best, bro? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where can I go to, to, to you know, be challenged a little bit more? Mm. You know? So I went from heavy hitters. I went to All In Barber. Uh, I'm sorry, it was Fade Addicts at the time with my dog Jesus. Shout mm -hmm. out to uh, my dude Jesus, and it, he was super competitive at the time, bro. Still, mm -hmm. he still had that fire. Mm -hmm. Beautiful barbershop, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody was hearing about him doing it. I went to go work with him. He pushed me, bro, to level mm -hmm. up. You know what I'm saying? He was in competitions. He was doing this. He was doing that. Brand new shop, man. It looked great. And then you know that just 
that came to a point where I had to leave as well. Mm -hmm. And then shout out to Mark. Mark the Barber, Blurry Face Barbershop. Yeah, Bell, yeah. legendary shop. Um, absolutely. So I went over there. I, I told Mark. I said, yo, Mark, I just need somebody I can run with. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I just want to run. I don't need none of your clientele, mm -hmm. but I just want to run because, you know, mm -hmm. Mark's running, bro. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? He's not playing. You no, know, he, not at he, all. He, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. So, like, I just, I said, bro, let me let me just run with you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I was feeding off of that energy, his growth, mm -hmm. you know, what he does for the industry. You know, him being, you know, a, a, a highly respected OG, one of the best that ever do it. For sure. And, you know, just, you know, watching him. You yeah. know, for the time being. And then when I when that time, you know, came, it was time for me to just open up a shop and start really trying to get this real chicken, man. You feel me? <laughs> real chicken. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, 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 whatever uh, it takes uh, to yeah, level up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just grow, my dude. Yeah. Just grow. Yeah. My, I can get gully for a second now. Yeah. I can get gully for a second. Yeah. I'm very professional, but yeah. don't, don't let that. <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, I need, I just... Uh, I'm wild, bro. I'm crazy, man. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I'm a little crazy, man. Yeah. I'm a little crazy, but you gotta be, bro. Gotta yeah, be. a little bit. You gotta be. Yeah. To have be. great things, to do great things. You gotta be, man. You gotta take risks, man. You gotta take risks and you gotta spend that money. Y'all sitting on some money, spend it. Spend it all. Spend it all, but spend it on reinvesting yourself. Yeah. I Growing. forgot who. Being better. Yeah. I forgot there was a barber that was telling me that uh, if, you need a, if you need hustle in your life or whatever, Get a get a car note or whatever, because then you'll start, you know, like having a big a bigger budget overhead. or a bigger yeah overhead because mm -hmm. you have to figure it out. Yeah, you have to one bro. one way or the other. You got to man, you got to. And how do you figure it out? Mm -hmm. By taking trying this that don't work, throw it out. Yeah. Try this that don't work, throw it out. Try this, try this, try. It. And many times you start. It's a process elimination, bro. Mm -hmm. and then you're gonna get it. Yeah, it's it's you gotta consume. Yeah. Now I see that, you know. You, you seek out mentors mm -hmm. in a certain sense, but not necessarily a mentor because how I, I'm seeing you, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you're seeing the guy from the other side of the room and taking notes, maybe in your quiet <laughs> place, maybe in your, your planning aspect of it. What, um, do, you, do you think that's a part of it, of being a student? Oh, always, bro. Always be a student, dude. Always be very judgmental on yourself, man. Mm. I'm nowhere close where I want to be, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted that guy five years from now. It wants to be the guy for the next five years ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, student, always, bro. Like, you don't know it all, man. Yeah. A wise man knows that he knows nothing, man. Mm. Nothing. Yeah. Because the world is so massive. It's so big. There's levels, bro. There's levels beyond levels beyond levels. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, you always have to be open. And once you start thinking that you know it all, yeah. You don't, bro. Yeah. You know, and you stop growing because that's a mindset barrier. It's mm. a mindset barrier for you to be open to consume, mm -hmm. you know, um, things that you don't know, that mm. you think you know. Yeah. It's a mindset, man. It's the whole, the student always, 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 always. Now, in your experimentation, um, I find it fascinating for people that, you know, they take notes on themselves. You know what I'm mm. saying? What... Mm. How do you keep yourself in check? I know you're talking about like, like the mirror thing and all that stuff. Is it, do you have a, a certain time that you dedicate to it? Or when it comes to you, you, you're like, all right, let me shut everything off and try to think this through. Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. I, I, I've known, I've I found out or I've been known, but I started putting it into action, you know, that it's very important to have your own time. You mm -hmm. know, um, I picked up, you know, self-meditation. Mm. Um, which is very, very big. There's a lot of noise, man. Mm. There's a lot of noise. When you're really trying to get somewhere, man, you're gonna, you, you got to understand how to get around that noise and so how to, you know, really, you know, gain that tunnel vision. Mm. So I found myself doing a lot of meditation, um, getting massages maybe mm -hmm. two times a month, once a month, mm. um, and, and playing ball, man. Dude, I started playing ball again, and that yeah. escape for me, bro, is ridiculous because I can directly correlate me on the basketball court to me in my business. Mm. But it's an escape, but in a different game. You yeah. know what I mean? So now I get to leave barbering and play ball and, and you know, handle the rock and try to make plays like I want to do in my shop. But not think about the barbershop. Yeah. But still have that competitive nature. Yeah. You know, in, in that mindset. Um, but yeah, dude, I, I, I gotta get away, man. Yeah. I got hobbies, man. But it's tough, dude. When you I'm pretty much an all the timer. I'm mm. an all the timer. I work all the time. Yeah. You know, I'm on my phone, even my family, they will get upset. Not not even 
I'm on my phone. It's the generation we're in. Yeah. You know, I'm not playing no games on my phone. I'm yeah. editing content. I'm recording. I'm filming. I'm, I'm you know, gaining connections. I'm talking to you to set up yeah. the podcast. I'm constantly on my phone when I'm not, you know, you know, doing any, sending emails, following emails, you know, doing all this stuff I need to do for the business. Mm. So when I'm not cutting hair, you, or when you're not cutting hair, you got to think about what everybody else is doing. Yeah. You know, I'm working. You over there, uh, somebody else playing games, mm -hmm. not really trying to, you know, grow. Yeah. You know, but I, everything, all the effort that I spend is putting into my business is being a father. Yeah. You know, being a father to my son, Armani. You know, so that's, that's it. I mean, that's all I do. Do you, um, now you, you talk about a lot of uh, consuming content and all that stuff. Mm. What keeps you in check from, I guess, overeating versus delivery? You know what I'm saying? Is there a thing of like, yo, I haven't posted in a while, or I need to do this, that? Is it just day by day of what, what comes to you? Uh, I don't understand exactly. So, like, I feel like there could be, there could be a self-help trap, where, which I think is different for you because you're more about doing and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. How, up, up until one point, you're like, all right, I watched the video. Now it's time to do the work. You know what I'm saying? I watched the, the great speech. I got this this energy from it, mm -hmm. how do I put it out into the world? You continue, I think you continuously consume it. Consume mm. it again. Mm. Consume it again. Mm. I've, there's videos I've watched six times in a mm. row, and I start to know the words. Mm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, oh, I know what he's going to say. You ever seen a little kid watch a movie, mm -hmm. and they watch that movie so many times that yeah. they know the words? Yeah. That's how I am with entrepreneurial videos, mm. videos of self-development and self-growth, mm. um, and, and, you know, how, how to, you know, just, you know, all that, you know, um, and you start to ooze. It starts to ooze out of your pores. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because you've consumed. You you are what you eat. Even when people in the gym, they tell you it's your diet, bro. Yeah. It's your diet, bro. What are you eating every day? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To 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 look like that. Yeah. They're eating clean. They're eating clean, and they're consuming it so often. You know what I mean? That you can see it. Yeah. You know, so you just consume the content. You. Be, you have to be obsessed with consuming the content, bro. Mm. Growth content, man. Yeah. Development content, where it's oozing out of your pores. You start speaking a different way. People don't start understanding you. Mm. And the people that don't understand you are the people that start hating you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because things are going to change because of your mind. You're not going to hang out with the same friends you used to. Mm. You're, you're going to prioritize things differently. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it's a brainwash, man. It's now, a brainwash. I see... Talking about that, um, you know, when you've changed yourself, has there been situations where you've had to completely get yourself out of that situation because you realize, oh, the people around me aren't necessarily... No, never. No? Never. Because I'm, uh, I'm doing what I can to be better, and if they don't understand you, then it mm. is what it is. We're going to have to go separate ways yeah. because you're not going to see you on, in the same eye level as somebody that's not seeking education, seeking more knowledge. Mm -hmm. Doing, you know, I'm doing the best to, to find myself ultimately because Drew don't, still don't, you know, he's trying to figure it out, bro, on my stage. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, I don't have it all figured out, bro. That's the crazy part. But I generally seek knowledge to, to extract what I can to, mm. you know, uh, be my best version, you know? Mm. But, nah, man. Mm -mm. But it creates, it definitely creates, you know, different emotions, absolutely. That's awesome. Now I, I I see too. Um, you're a big uh proponent. Not your your energy's infectious. You know what I'm saying. So I also see on their social media your 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 barber's biggest cheerleaders, which I feel like sometimes shop owners don't take the time to be like, yo, this is my boy. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Come see my boy and all that stuff. Because you you're good. You know what I'm saying. You're in a state where you have your your clientele, you have your shop and all that stuff. And sometimes barbers can be. Put aside your other employees and all that stuff. And I even see you, you know, you're trying to get the best of the best in here and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. what, is there something that you do with your barbers? Like, what's that talk like with your barbers and all that stuff? Because I feel like you have to be in a room with you at all times. Like, it's, it's infectious. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So is there a conversation that you have or a mentality? Or are you looking for a barber more on a mental state or... uh Skill wise, when you when you bring him into the shop, man, that's such a great question, bro. I'm so sorry, bro. Is that gonna get <laughs> is that gonna get picked up? Uh, it probably will, but uh, we're rocking it. I'm, I'm about to go yeah, yeah, go go pick oh it up. God. This is how business happens. Bad, no, you're good. All right. <laughs> 
guys. I'm sorry. That was such a <laughs> that was good. That was good what you were telling me. What what's the conversation like with my of course I want the best of the best, but ultimately I'm, what I'm looking for, man, is great people. Mm. You know, not necessarily skill wise. Mm. So I want people to uh uh you know, that's where you, where I believe I take my my company from good to great, you know, being mm. able to, you know, have people that are open minded and that see how I'm trying to ride, that see how I'm trying to flow. You know what I'm saying? If we don't see eye to eye, you know, on on where we're trying to go, then, you know, you won't be attracted to my business in a sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's about what other people want, man. You really want to compete? You mm. really want to go hard? You really want to push yourself to be your best? You understand you're going to have to get out your comfort zone. Yeah. You know, you understand I'm really going to ride. And if you're not riding, you slacking, you know, you're going to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, you know, my shop is is more so about that push to be better mm. in every aspect, bro, because that's what I consume and that's, what, that's who I am. Mm. So like if if you know that's you know if they feel that and they feel the conviction behind my voice and what I want, bro, and how I really want to do this, yeah, you know they'll come man and and they will see you know and they will they will get pushed to be better as well, man, because that's just the way that I lead, man. And if they don't see me growing, mm. you know that's a problem. That's why I'm trying to always read books. That's why I'm always trying to develop. That's why I'm always trying to you know grow, you know, because once they see me stop growing, then what? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So. That's very important. Very. Well, um, we're getting closer to the mark or whatever. Um, so I wanna, I wanna figure out where um, where to lead this. So, man, I wish I could just, man. I, uh, you got I'm something just, on your mind? Yeah, man. Yeah, the world, brother. Yeah, the world, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, what about the world you have on your mind right now? Man, just shout out to everybody that's going through something, you know what I'm saying? With it, regardless of what it is in life, and understand how to transmute that that energy, that emotion, mm. into just pure, you know, aggressive to be where you want to be in life. You know mm. what I'm saying? And to make it so important that you can just change that energy and put it into something that's going to help you be better. That way you can, you know, get through this life and... and, and fulfill what God has really given you in the form of a gift mm. is the best way. It's the best way I can encourage, you know, the viewers that are following to the end of this, you know, to do. So, yeah, I'm not perfect, bro. No. You feel me? So, now, just, as far as that gift, what, what do you, for somebody trying to find themselves in that, you know, um, when, when did you choose that this was going to be your, your lane? Because you had that, that big discouragement of, mm. you know, getting fired from a place of like, yo. I knew I wasn't going to the NBA and that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to the NBA and that's a fact. So I said, if I'm not going to go to the NBA, I need to be, I need to be in the finals in this barber, in this barber game. Mm. And I need to be really winning rings. You okay. know what I'm saying? So I, I gotta, I gotta do the best that I could, yeah. the best that I can. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So to, to take it to that level, I still have that competitive drive in me, bro. That's so insane. Mm. It's absolutely just, it's, it's ridiculous because competition brings the best out of everybody. Absolutely. So I just have that mindset, bro. Mamba mentality, man. Got to be like the Mamba. Yeah. R.I.P. Kobe. Yeah. That boy think different. Yeah. He thinks different, man. He thinks different. Yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, which is a side note, not barber related, but it's a great tragedy to see him leave the earth. But I think it, it all made us mortal in a sense, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. thinking about Kobe, you know, all this, these accolades that he accomplished or whatever, and to unfortunately die in that way is crazy, but it's also humbling to be like, you know, when it's your time, brother, it's your time. Absolutely. You don't, you don't never know when that day is yeah. going to come. Yeah. And we need to know, you know, what we're doing and what direction we want to head to, you mm -hmm. know? Absolutely. Man. Be grateful, man. Be yeah. grateful. You know, I've learned when I started to get blessed more is when I started to wake up in my bed and just be grateful for the good things that I have in my life. You mm. know what I'm saying? The things that, you know, we're all blessed one way or the other. We're all blessed, dude. Yeah. We're so blessed. And once we start focusing on that is when mm. God blesses you so much more. So, you know, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have none of this, you know what I'm saying, if I wasn't blessed. So I'm, I'm grateful. Every experience, every person that's been in my life in a, in a positive way, even in the negative, because you learn. Yeah, you learn. You know, um, just my arms, my legs, I'm healthy, mm -hmm. you know. My beard's starting to grow a little bit. There we you go, know, I'm beard getting gang. older, but it's all good. Man. My hairline's still here. Half of y'all yeah. bald, so don't even yeah. be trying to get on me. <laughs> um, but, 
Man. That's blessed, bro. Well, um, I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, where can where can people find you, Drew? Man, that's so dope, man. I can't believe you even asked me none of this. I, I watch podcasts, bro, all the time with Pat but David, just yeah. Gary V, bro, and how they get down. I really yeah. want to do this so much more, man. Yeah. Like it's awesome, bro. This was a great experience. Yeah. But anyway, it's your boy Drew Nice to Barber. You can find me. Uh, JewNiceTheBarber.com. I'm on all the social media handles, uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, at JewNice561. All my links on the bottom here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. No, nah, I'll have uh, it in the show notes you'll, for you'll, sure. You'll see it in the show notes, man. And, you know, I'm grinding, man. I'm trying to think of the next thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm trying to think of the next thing. Be well, better yeah. every day. Well, it's been a great conversation, Drew. Uh, it's definitely just fueled me to grind <laughs> better at you know my that's, podcasting my barbering stuff man so and dope. and i i appreciate your time man, man so for sure, man. thank this you for is, being on the amazing. present barber absolutely man it's been a pleasure man thank you my boy thank for you sure, absolutely all right y'all we'll see you next time thank you all for listening to the podcast if you got any value from this episode please consider subscribing rating the podcast and sharing it with your fellow barbers and your fellow friends until next time everyone stay present